Good morning, folks. Welcome back. This is going to be episode number six of the cedar log bed. I just uh, pulled all the weights and stuff that I had holding down the uh, boat paddles and the bear. And as you can see, a little closer look, I've got rose rocks all the way around. I've got them all glued down and ready to, ready to go. Paddles are glued down. I had to uh, run the paddles across the the jointer. It was just wide enough to take care of it. I had to thin them down a little bit because I want them to be able to. I want to be able to completely submerge these paddles, and I'm just hoping this might be a problem right here. Well, maybe not. It'll be just under. And it's also going to depend on uh, getting a middle section level. I got to check that too, because if it ain't level, then it's it's like anything else, like a frying pan on a stove. It'll all go to one end. Anyhow, I'm going to get it all leveled up, get the two part epoxy mixed together, and get that poured. And it'll probably be all I'll be able to get done today because that's got to set up and, and uh, dry. So I'm going to get started and I'll bring you back when I get that part of it finished. Okay, well, I guess we're going to bring episode 6 to a close. Uh, I had a, an epic fail here with this epoxy. I had to use some Rust-Oleum paint to uh, paint the green background on that quarter inch sheet of plywood that I was using. And the uh, epoxy that I, was, that I poured reacted with it and as you can see the paints lifted it I mean really bubbled the heck out of uh, my uh, inserts and you can see where it uh, that's the the glue that I used to hold the bear down and here's just a, a ripple inside the epoxy some more ripples and uh, yeah, it uh, never had this happen before, but the only thing that I've done differently is use that uh, Rust-Oleum paint. So, my recommendation, do not use Rust-Oleum paint, uh, especially on projects like this. It's a bad deal. Um, I'm not saying it's bad paint. Uh, I guess I should have done a little more research uh, I just went on the principle of oil-based paint. Oil-based resin epoxy shouldn't be a problem, but it was. And like I said, I don't think I'm even going to be able to salvage this. Um, I don't know. I uh, just have to wait till the uh, it stops reacting. It's still extremely warm up underneath, and uh, yes, it's beginning to cool down a little bit. But uh, earlier, hell, it was smoking and everything else but you know that's the way the uh, ball bounces I'm a I'm a novice at this stuff um, and learning as I go and this was a uh, really expensive learning experience at seventy one dollars a gallon uh, there's three gallons of epoxy that was poured yeah huh <sighs> so I'm going to see if I can sand that surface down and, and, and clear it. Um, and if not, I'll see if I can at least pop the, the, uh, the planks that I used and see if I can salvage those and maybe do something different in the center. 
but uh, yeah, got derailed pretty hard. That's the way it goes, though. Trial and error. I'll catch you guys. Uh, there, there will be another episode because, like I said, I still, I, I still have the uh, main structure. All I got to do, I can, I can do something similar to the footboard because I've, I've got some, I've got some slabs, a couple of slabs left that I might be able to, to uh, incorporate in it. But anyhow. I'm going to bring this video to a close, and I will uh, catch you guys on the next video. Y'all have a good day. Okay, I'm going to add this to the, and, and re-edit my video. I was able to salvage my uh, cedar boards. I talked to the company, and it was the way, it was my technique. I tried to do all this at one time, and it got uh, too hot. Too much of a chemical reaction, so that one's on me. There's nothing wrong with the paint um, or the epoxy. It was the applicator. So, yep, $300 lesson learned. So, I'm not sure I'm not sure what I'm going to do next. Um like I said I was able to salvage my cedar. I can do another frame and maybe do something entirely different. Uh we'll kind of go from there, but anyway, I'll keep you posted.